Hey Glam Dolls, welcome back to our channel. I hope you guys are fabulous today, or at least hanging in there. Um, the day that I'm filming all of this is, it's like a fucking dream right now, you guys. And let me start by saying, first and foremost, if you've got children in the room, I don't think that they should be hearing my video right now because I've got a few F-bombs to drop. And so I would suggest either not watching this around them or putting in some headphones because I am fucking pissed off and I'm very disheartened. I'm disgusted and I'm just, just the, I'm just so disheartened. You guys, everything that's going on in this country and in this world I am terrified for what we are raising our children in. I have two young men. One of them is part black. And I am terrified for the world that we're raising him in. Terrified and disgusted. I'm not going to speak too much on this today. Because I know for me, I come to YouTube and stuff to kind of get away and check out from the world. Um, but it, I just had to speak my piece. I'm disgusted. And, you know, if the world didn't see the corruption in the good old boy system before, believe me, they see it now. Everyone's eyes are fucking open now. I hope at least you all see this. And this is coming from a conservative white woman. We see you. We see the struggle. We are with you. This is fucking bullshit. I am disgusted and more needs to be done. And this shit needs to stop happening. That's all I'm going to speak on it at this time. Because I'm going to get myself all riled up. I've been discussing it all day with my family. And it's just... I've been discussing it with my boys. I've been discussing it, you know, trying to tell them how to be fine young men growing up in this world and telling my youngest son, you do not need to be ashamed of the color of your skin. You be proud of you. And it, it's sad that in 2000 and motherfucking 20, we have racism that is starting to rival the 1950s and 60s. Like, you guys, this is disgusting. Absolutely fucking disgusting. I'm disgusted all the way around. I'm just disgusted. And I'm just going to leave it at that because if not, I'm going to go off on a fucking tangent and we're going to be here all day while I just say the F word over and over and over and over and over again. So I'm going to move on. And I'm going to leave that with you. And just know, love everyone. Love your neighbor. Love even those you hate. Pray for them. I'm praying for everyone right now. You know, whoever you believe in, if you don't believe, just send out, you know, peace and love and prayers to everyone right now because this world fucking needs it. We need... We need something good right now, you guys. This world needs something good because we are in a really, really bad, bad way right now. So, whew, it's like, how do, how, how do we move on from there? <sighs> okay, you guys. So, um, I don't feel like getting glam today, as you can tell. I just got out of the shower. I blow dried my hair and this is pretty much how I... I am. I came into my vanity room to do some work. Um, if you've been following me on Instagram, you will know I am redoing my vanity room and trying to get it all together. But it's proving to be a way bigger project than I thought it was going to be. So, and it's costing me a lot more dollars than I thought it was going to. But um, as each piece comes in, I kind of want to review the pieces because like I said, I do want to do this on a budget and I'm going to be doing some arts and crafts in the next coming couple weeks. So I wanted to start filming this now and kind of doing this in like a couple parts. 
So that is what we're going to be doing in the next couple of weeks. I'm going to be transforming this room. Um, but today, I don't feel like filming, getting ready. I don't feel like getting glam. I don't feel like this is the time. This is not the time to be happy. And <laughs> like, it's okay to take a time out and just sit in your feelings for a minute because right now heavy shit is going on and you have every right to feel angry and every right to feel the way you do right now. So that is why you probably are going to see a video from me this week. I know timing all kind of sucks because I just came back last week, but this is my video for the week. I just needed to come on and see you guys and share my thoughts with what's going on and let you guys know I love everyone and I hope you guys stay safe out there. If you do go protest, please be safe. Um, if you do choose to riot, please be safe. You know, like we're angry right now. We're fed up. Everybody is fed up and it didn't help that this is right on the heels of COVID when we've all been on lockdown. Pressure, we're like a pressure cooker right now and we were ready to explode. It's just been bad shit after bad shit after bad shit after bad shit. And as American people, people can only take so much, but I can't help but feel like I'm watching the fall of our nation. We used to be so strong and be so together and be so proud of our country. And when I was growing up in the 80s and 90s, we were all so proud of the country we had. And we were, everybody was so American. And I feel like everybody was more together then. And I've never felt more divided than I do today. And I just pray to God that we can come out of this stronger than ever. And... To be honest, at this point, there's nowhere we can go but up. Knock on wood that it doesn't get worse, you know? Like, I, I, fuck, man. Fuck, I just wish I could reach out to everybody and give you all a big fucking hug right now. Like, I need a hug right now. God bless America. I need a fucking hug because this shit sucks. All right, my dolls. I hate to leave you on such a shitty note, but it's been a shitty week, so... I love you guys. I just wanted to check in with you all and um, see how you guys are all feeling. And just tell you guys I love you. Hang in there. That's all we can do right now. Just fucking hang in there. And know that we are stronger together than divided. So let's get our shit together and take our fucking country back. Let's take our fucking world back, you guys. There's so much, so much, so much trying to divide us right now. The devil is a motherfucking liar. The devil is a liar and he will tell you all the lies you want to hear to divide everyone. He wants us to divide. He wants that. Don't let him win. Do not let the devil win. I love you guys. I'm going to end this here and I will be back with my transformation of my vanity room. I got a lot of work to do. So I will see you guys later. I love you guys.